prominent both ears here the you can notice the triangular fossa this is the helix this is the antihelix border the upper half of the antihelix border is not well defined so i will go by making a small incision as you can see i have marked here under local and infill tissue anesthesia and we will undermine the tunnel as marked here just at the level of the pinna cartilage and after this i would like to abrade the cartilage at the anti helix border to weaken it on the anti aspect and after this i would like to approximate or stitch these two parts of the antelus border to enhance its curvature by making a small puncture hole stitches here so i would like to place two stitches here and one stitch here the same ditto procedure is repeated on the other side also uh the incision line with the help of local anesthetic solution and i have not mixed the adrenaline here ek sui lag rahi hai mere down up to the marking you can notice here i'm exactly going in the plane you can notice the the scored area here right so that this can be bent like this you can notice very well here right this is the scored area here and this part is broken with the help of help of 20 gauge saw tip like this so that to weaken this area and this already we have scored with the help of motorized diamond abrader so that this can be bent like this We scored out the cartilage at anti helix border, and we have put two stitches, that is five oproline, by making a small one millimeter hole on the anti aspect, and we have fixed it like this. And the superior most stitches we have put from the wound side, and we have gently curved the anti helix border. And this is small incision out of one centimeter in size. This is about three quarter centimeter in size. is hidden inside the helical rim here and there is gentle curvature and mild curve mild bending of the pin in the backward direction so here i have put only three stitches Triple dye by piercing the inked needle. 
90s. The detector, so self meter detector that has a gutter inside it, right? So this protect, in fact, this arch protects the damage of the skin with the motorized diamond bar. So insert, make a tunnel, it's not too big tunnel, it's just sufficient size tunnel that can be <coughs> elevated with the help of this detector. Over the cartilage, that the future site of anti-helical border that I am going to every with the diamond, motorized diamond every day. Notice the average area here, and this will be this is the groove you can notice is the average area at the anti helical border, and this will be approximated like this. So, this is the biggest part here. one and a half to two millimeter in size so that the knot can be buried here groove here this area I have is scored out or scored out now will bend and put a stitch here see this part is a V You can notice that I have made a 2mm incision on the, in the triangular fossa and through this I have negotiated 5O proline to bend the anti-helical border which I have already weakened with the help of motorized diamond abrader. And this incision is a small, is about size which I will stitch by putting only 3 8O polyamide stitch. You can notice the beautiful bending or the curvature of the anti-helical border. This is basically the triangular fossa here. This is quite hidden inside. It's very difficult to see. This is the stitch line here. Absolutely it will not be visible in the post-operative phase. <laughs>